Right. So uh, if you talk about IT and you talk about software development, uh, uh, it could be, if you think from a generic standpoint, point, uh, it could be anything which is being developed. So it could be production, industrial, manufacturing, whatever you want to talk about. And IT in, in itself works in that, uh, in, in those lines. But we'll talk about software development lifecycle today. Uh, if you look at the key areas of software development lifecycle is requirements, design, development, testing, and maintenance. So we did touch upon uh, these areas a little bit. So a BA would be involved no matter where the project is. So once the project starts, once the software development starts, the BA would be there until the end phase. It, uh, the what things will change will be the involvement of business analysts and the kind of activities a business analyst will perform, but you will find a business analyst working end to end overall uh, software development life cycle. And that has been the expectation and that's the right expectation. Okay, so step one is the requirements, which is the key uh, bread and butter for the business analyst. This is where a BA would be doing 90% uh, of the job. Uh, this is where we gather requirements, analyze requirements and document requirements, and then get them signed off from the stakeholders. Design is where uh, the overall design of the solution is created. There's a special uh, specific design teams which have been, uh, you know, which, which were responsible for designing the actual system and how it will work. BA would be here uh, to support in design diagrams at times and resolving queries. Uh, uh, but yes, uh, the involvement of uh, BA would still be here, though at less, uh, less time would be required. But generally, a BA would be closely with, working very closely with the design team to make sure that the requirements are being designed the way they were, they are, they are to be. Once design is completed, I will cover development testing together. These, this is the phase where you actually write the piece of code and test it. Now, the all the actual development cycle happens here. Again, uh, a BA is not required or expected to write any piece of code. Um, or uh, do actual testing. But yes, a BA would be involved with these people from the, with the development team and testing team from the perspective of resolving queries, making sure that they understand if there's anything which they don't, uh, it's better to clarify. So a business analyst would always be there supporting these guys um, and working in the background. The last and the least step is the uh, release and maintenance. This is uh, once everything has happened, uh, when we try to, when everything has happened, we when we put the system online, or when we sit, put the system in production, as we say, post that as well, there would be uh, certain challenges, certain defects, certain queries which will be raised uh, by the users, which is, which is quite normal. And that's the reason why uh, systems are kept as uh, in the maintenance phase. And uh, during this time, if there are any issues, there's training requirement, there's any issues which have been raised, a BA would analyze those issues and then a further action step would be formulated. Again, that will be done by business analyst. 